Uh, hi, I just wanted to show you an interesting interaction I found with my new build I'm playing. It's uh, pretty scuffed right now, I'm not even really kept on resist and uh, I think I want to get determination into the build too and scale armor. Um, so what is this build? This build is a trapper and it's using blade trap, but not as a um, saboteur, we are actually a um, champion. So why are we a champion? F uh, for the main reason is we are using two forbidden jewels from the new uber bosses the, um, that are restricted to the dualist um, class and so the, they are called Fertile Flourish and the second line says non-travel attack skills repeat an additional time which actually um, Blade Trap is also an attack skill by the way so um, yeah I'm just gonna show you I think I can actually see it um, I'll, I'll show you how it looks normal without the jewel so I throw it and it's gonna detonate normally there's only one sequence if I put on actually the forbidden flame jewel you can see wait wait for it so it's actually triggering two times but I only have to I my uh, trap I only throw one trap and it's repeating so it's I actually from um, normally uh, what you would get from this jewel if you would use uh, an attack without like no traps or mines it works with every uh, trap or mine which is an attack so for like you could also play like rain of error trapper or miner with this this is um, for a normal build that's 30 percent more damage and you get locked in place and uh, which is really bad, but uh, for this trapper place, that's actually you don't get locked in place. You just get two traps um, triggered in one, so you get a uh, hundred thirty percent more damage from this. I tested it, and it's uh, working according to plan. And yeah, that's really insane. Also, we get uh, yeah. With traps you can get, uh, with blade trap we can get uh, a lot of multi from the sword and from the trap cluster, which is really nice. Also, um, yeah, we are using Tinker skin because we don't have a lot of recovery because we are not a saboteur. We try to get uh, some region on some pieces of gear. In boots I have some region I have, um, I'm using Vitality. Yeah, that's basically what I'm struggling with right now, the recovery, life recovery, and yeah, we have a nice life flask of, uh, yeah, and we're using the, um, this uh, node here, which gives us a lot of charge generation. So we're relying uh, really hard on our life flask right now. We are not really tanky, like I said, we are not even rest cap, we have minus 60 chaos. I'm not sure how I want how I get more uh, chaos res into the build, because I'm, uh, this has no life, that's pretty tragic. Just physical damage, double physical, just spam some essences on those rings. Rislata's perfect roll, I divined this with like two divines, pretty nice. Um, yeah, that just some boots with some suppress and move speed, some rest life. Same on the helm, suppress life, uh, rest, some accuracy, pretty important. This should actually be catalyst with attack, so I get uh, more f uh, accuracy. Uh, yeah, and we're using uh, slave drivers because the mana cost is pretty high don't really have some mana region so that's uh, just an easy way so I can like spam my traps also get a lot of cast speed from frenzy charges uh, that's trap throwing speed um, yeah 
And this is my amulet, it's pretty good. A lot of res, fizz, multi, evasion, and uh, allocates blade of cunning, which we are not really traveling here, so that's a really good note. Accuracy we need, we are still only at 93% chance to hit. And we are using also using Glorious Vanity for Corrupted Soul and um, yeah. Ghost Dance. Pretty nice defensive layer because you have a lot of evasion. Without Flask, 32,000. Uh, and we get also some Dex nodes, which we don't need. We have, we lose some um, accuracy, but we lose like 70 decks from this or something, so uh, we still got enough um, because we are on the right side of the tree, so that's not really bad. If, uh, you should look for res or uh, some useful stuff here. I got res, res, yeah, life, uh, and here life and region, pretty nice. Um, yeah, we also can use the dual wheel crit cluster. I actually want to get also ailment immune if I can get some uh, better boots, more rest on the boots, and um, uh, yeah, a higher tier of the ailment. Um, implicit from Eater of Worlds. I think you can get it on a helm uh, to a craft, or, or was it only on gloss or boots? I'm not sure. Maybe um, a rare chest would be better at the end. At the, uh, in the end, but yeah, I just need a recovery, but you can also um, drop this at in the end and then maybe also drop cluster traps for swift assembly, which also be a big damage upgrade. But we uh, need um, more recovery before we can do this. Maybe a small cluster with um, surge and vitality, but I'm not sure. I'm really starved on jewel sockets because i need also already two from the forbidden then i need the corrupted soul and i need a lot of i want to use actually would like to use um, coated trap nail also in this spot but uh, we just we can't really fit another cluster and we are already 95 and the tree is pretty tight i don't really want to drop anything right now gotta watch us i with two additional impales uh yeah a lot of mana, reservation, efficiency. We can just barely fit everything in and well, I don't know, I want also want armor, but I have no way to fit fit it in right now. So we are only relying on uh, evading attacks and we are ghost dance to recover a lot of energy shield. And um, this uh, thread of hope is pretty nice. We can get a clever construction for one point. I'm not actually sure if the traps trigger an additional time also triggers this again, um, or if not, it's not that good, but it's one point, so still. This is um, trap throwing speed trap trigger AOE, with which is re uh, very important. Trigger AOE and throwing speed, just a few good. Assassination, saboteur and, and blood siphon for some life. Yeah, that's basically it for the tree. Ascendancy, we get fortitude. Obviously, we want to fortify the attack speed here. Doesn't really do anything for us, but cannot be stunned. It's really nice. And fortify, we can't get it uh, any in anywhere else. So it's really nice. And inspirational aura effect and uh, mana reservation. Also, no mana reservation for our banner is really not good to fit more stuff in and obviously master of metal the nearby allies have uh, also the armor uh, from that is we are not getting that all the time we can just get it from wiling blades we can't get it uh, via blade trap because we are not actually hitting it's the trap that hits so we need to um, Violin, violin blades through the enemy to actually get the 1k armor so yeah 
um, but we have the watcher's eye and this we get um, eight impales so that's a lot of flat physical damage yeah so that's about it with the gear and the tree got bottled faith so you don't need that but uh, the rest is pretty cheap the paradoxica is like 100 c for each one um yeah the rest is pretty budget i would say like one x for the six link tinker skin you can buy Rislatas for 10 c and divine it yourself or yeah i divined this i was really lucky so it's really scuffed right now um let's just uh, try maze of the minotaur real quick i hope I don't die because this build is really squishy. The clear speed is not good. I just wanted to show off this uh, interaction. I thought it's really worth showcasing, really interesting. Ah, hit the box, please. Oh. Pick that up now. I, I won't clear like 100% of the map. This takes too long with this build. And just show off the boss DPS. If I don't get one shot, which can happen because I have no, not a, uh, not much physical mitigation. I hope that I don't get it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, minus uh, 60 chaos res, by the way. That's what I want to fix next. Uh, so the leading here is pretty bad too. Shot right here. Still alive. Nice, nice. Good stuff. No headhunter, no headhunter. I'm not really using my uh, sentinels right now. I just respect that character. There was a Lightning Strike character, um, and I'm not really confident using them. I really don't want to die in this video. So we have to press some things we have to uh, pride, we have to assassin's mark, we have to bear trap and then we have to also press bottled faith and spam traps at the do same time. I don't know, can I pre-throw? Yeah, I can. So, oh man, it would almost like one shot here. So, uh, the DPS is insane, like it's really high. I, I can't really calculate it uh, in POB, but um, yeah, of course, play trap is a bit weird. But yeah, that should be tens of millions, like at least 10 min million, if every, fa every star is adding up. And uh, this, uh, if you have like uh, time to spam your traps, you can get like huge damage, like insane. 
So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. That's what I wanted to show off. And yeah, hope you like it. Um, if you like unique builds and uh, build ideas and don't want to play like meta stuff, you can subscribe. I am try to show my uh, builds because I only play unique builds and interesting interactions. And yeah, so that's about it.